The government's desire to reset the relations with the European Union does not mean reversing Brexit, Saki Estama has said. The Prime Minister said he wanted a closer relationship with Europe, but the UK had no plans for a youth mobility scheme, which could give young people in the EU the right to live and work in the UK and vice versa. Saki was speaking at a joint news conference with German Chancellor Olaf Scholz in Berlin after the pair began talks on a new cooperation agreement between the two nations. The Prime Minister said the agreement aimed to boost trade, create jobs and deliver economic growth in both countries. The two leaders hope to sign a treaty covering areas including defense, energy, security, science and technology by earlier next year. During the visit, they also agreed a joint action plan to tackle illegal migration and smuggling gangs by sharing intelligence and data. Sakia has previously said he will seek a better deal on trade with the EU than the one negotiated by Boris Johnson in late 2020. However, it remains unclear whether Brussels would entertain major changes to the UK's existing Brexit trade deal, which is due to be reviewed in 2026. Taking questions from journalists after the news, co news conference, Sakia was pressed over what concessions the UK would have to offer to secure an improved deal. The PM said he was absolutely clear the government wanted to reset relations, relations with EU. He added that does not mean reversing Brexit or entering the single market or the customs union, but it does mean a closer relationship on a number of fronts, including the economy, including defense, including exchanges. The single market enables goods, services, and people to move freely between member states with countries applying many common rules and standards. The customs union is an agreement not to charge taxes or tariffs on goods coming from other EU countries and to charge the same tariffs as each other on goods coming from outside the EU. Asked if the UK would allow freedom of movement for young Germans, the PM said, we do not have plans for a youth mobility scheme, but we do have plans for closer relationships between you, us and the EU. A youth mobility scheme which would make it easier for the EU citizens aged 18 to 30 to study work in the UK for a limited period with young Brit British citizens allowed to do the same in the European return has been proposed by the EU. Speaking after the press conference, Sakia insisted the planned treaty with Germany had nothing to do with youth mobility. But when asked about possibility of students' exchanges between the UK and Germany, the Prime Minister said he wanted a closer relationship, including education and cultural exchange. Didn't Sakia stress that he and Ms. Schultz said did not go into details of that today, focusing more on illegal migration. So truth be told, I don't even know what some of these politicians, their problems are. Yes, this youth mobility scheme is not really bad because if uh, citizens of these countries from 18 to 30 can live in each other's country as a, at a period of time. They can share ideas because they are the upcoming generation. They can gain from each other in terms of be prepared on how to face the future challenges together because they already know each other. They went to school with each other, they worked with each other, so they can rub minds together. So at the end of the day, politicians are the same everywhere. This is the problem that Boris Johnson created in 2020 when he was desperate to win election at all costs. This is what the Labour government is trying to solve now.